What's up, family? Look, y'all can hold me to accountability on why I've been missing in action, but we can do that later, okay? Right now, we got stuff to talk about. We got bigger stuff to talk about because what's happening, I don't like it right now. I don't like it at all. Unpopular opinion. I already know it's coming. Unpopular opinion. I like Victor. I really, really do like Victor. Now, let me quantify that. And I hate that I have to quantify that. But the society that we live in, you have to quantify it. Because when you say you like something, then that typically means you don't like something else. My love for Bergie has not changed, okay? I like Bergie, but I also really like Victor. They're two totally different people, but it's okay to like both. <sighs> Carmen, Carmen, Carmen. Because when Hannah and Carmen came in, I absolutely loved them both. I really, really did. As time has progressed, I have become a little hesitant on Carmen. And, you know, but I do believe in y'all know I really try my best. I believe in giving the benefit of the doubt. But I am hesitant. Now, this, you know, we come with all our stuff. We have to come and be honest with our biases and things. Bergie reminds me of my oldest son so much <laughs> and how he handles situations and things. And so I just you know like I just want her intentions to be pure he is lovable and I think you know anybody can recognize that you recognize that people want to protect him in the villa so certainly the thought process could be that mm, America probably loves him too and so I just that doesn't have to be the case but you know just some of the I which is we're gonna see I'm gonna give the benefit of the doubt because I really feel like Victor's going home unfortunately but we shall see. I'm just a little not trusting. Now, in full transparency, I y'all, if y'all wrote with me for a little while, then you know I have, like, I will fall in. I will go. I'm an optimistic lover um, because my husband and I got married quick. So some of you, if you're new, then you might not know that. So for me, I believe that love can last. It can last because we've been together for a while. So I believe that, you, you know, that it can happen. But I've been let down in some ways. So I am hesitant to just jump right in again. Now, in saying that, Victor, I love Victor. I really love his honesty and transparency. And one of the things, like when Destiny, that I love that Destiny said, like, look, I'm going to vote for Victor because when um, I was over kind of in my little sadness, he was one of the first people to come over to me. And those are some of the things that I really like about Victor. Now, that what I hate about when it comes to the situation I, and I just hate this and again I don't know if it's being a mama of, of boys but I wish that as humans we held space for men to be able to be um you know just fully themselves and and just be able to show all of their emotion now the unfair part about it and it happens I totally get it it is what it is like you know that's for us to get better as a society with but because of Victor's stature and his voice <laughs> when he is um assertive or frustrated it, it can come off and a lot of times it will be labeled and i hate labels i really do it can be labeled as threatening i wish that we held space just in general just off topic from love island just in general in life i do wish we held more spaces for men to be able to be emotional beings fully um I wish more men could cry and it'd be okay to cry. I, I also think, and when we say that, because a lot of times people will agree with that. Well, you know, men should be able to cry. It's okay. And yeah, but also men should be able to be assertive. It is okay to say I'm frustrated and to not be labeled because of how you look in your stature and to not be taken as threatening because Carmen, I think, and I like it because I'm a woman who is, I can be very passionate. I can be very assertive, um, assertive as F, okay? I can be. <laughs> so, but in me being that, then I think also your partner or whomever you are talking with, I would hope that you can be mature enough to, you know, allow them that space to be that. Now, I'm not talking about abusive. I'm not talking about hitting, but to be able to look, I didn't like this. I'm really upset about this. Like I am frustrated. I, I think that's okay because I want to be able to express myself the same way. And I want to hold the space. And I'm not saying you're going to like it because in the moment, you know, whoever, woman, man, anything in between you might not like it but i want to be able to i want to be able to hold more spaces where we can do that 
Now, as we say that, some of my other players, because this has just been a very unique little villa for me, because normally I am a, I, don't want, I, don't, I, I say I'm a people's people, not usually like a girl's girl only, because I'm definitely one of the girls who kind of probably rides with the guys because I'm a tomboy, but I also can gel well with girls. So this time around, I really, really, really like the guys. And I like their bond. I like the way they kind of navigate with one another. And I think I really have gravitated towards the guys because these girls, while I like some of them individually, I don't know. It's just I'm not feeling the unity. A lot of them seem cutthroat and kind of. And then whether if you're not cutthroat necessarily, um, well, Cassie just... She's in a lane of her own. But then I feel like, now granted, I am not saying nothing's wrong with this, but I feel like I love Destiny. But our girl is like, I've something, you know, she don't want to be in no mess. And it shows. Like, she's, I'm here, but I'm going to step back here. I'm listening to you. I hear KK too. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like, I'm going to say this, but I'm going to kind of fade to black. Which I don't believe that the girls have to be a mess to be like, to really share a bond. But I think everybody seems to be a little bit hesitant and kind of like, you know, coming up with their own plans. And, and, you know, and that's how you play the game, I guess I could say. I don't know. Maybe this is the first year where emotions kind of will step out of it. So you will be a little detached and be able to make clear decisions. And I think several people that really have shown that I think that they'll be able to do that. Destiny one, because I see her kind of go off in her own space. And when you uh, kind of separate a little bit, I think it will allow you to make those um decisions when it comes time to voting to not be maybe as biased because you're not as attached uh harrison also even though when it comes to destiny and harrison i got my eye on harrison i really do i got my eye on you i mean i'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt <laughs> um i'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt uh but he just gives me vibes like as soon as the next thing comes in. And I hate it because I love Destiny's, like, she's a beautiful girl. And I love her happiness because she seems to really be into it. But something about him just gives me the first thing that comes in or the second, his eyes are going to veer. I, I might be wrong. I don't know. Um, Keenan, I love, love, love him, okay? I really do. I mean, the little snafu with Cass and some of that, you know, I don't know, whatever, okay? But I love his honesty. I love, um, you know, I think he's a great communicator. I love that he expresses himself and has no problem doing so. And KK, I, I love them individually and I love them as a unit. Um, you know, again, you know, I'm not going to be sucked in just yet, uh, but I really do like them for what it is. And I like the vibe. It really, really is giving really natural vibes. Like I could totally see them walking down the street and vibing and like it being a little pickups. It's like, it's a whole thing. The language, the, you know, when we talk about being equally yoked, like they're giving me equally yoked. I, and I absolutely, I absolutely love it. Um, let me see. Like I just, um. I really love it. I loved it. Um, Leo, I I don't know. <laughs> Leo, Leo, Leo. Like, I, I can't get mad at Leo, honestly, because I don't like it. I'm, I'm never for somebody hurting people's feelings and deception. I'm not for deception. Um, but in saying that, Leo is exactly what I thought Leo was. Like, he is a player. He is a young man who is definitely out there, and he's for the streets. Cassie, we already knew she was for the streets. I don't know if it's a delusion or something. Like everybody's into her. Everybody, like in her little head. Um, but now I have grown to know to not get attached. Finally, y'all. So I know if you've been rocking with me, you know I can get attached. But <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm really this year. And then like when life has happens enough to you, you kind of know to step back. <laughs> but um, I don't have a problem with people navigating in that. Because I and it's an uncomfortable space. You may feel like you want to try something else because there's limited choices, but how you do it, how you move about, even though Anna, I'm up and down on Anna because I'm still like, I don't know, some of her antics kind of just, but um, I, I, I don't like the way, like if you say you're my friend, because Cassie's been you know, the best friends in the villa, my girl, this and that, how you move that come, you could come and say, Hey, you know, that's, this is this. 
So I, I don't like that. I don't like that. Leo, and I'm not letting him off the hook either because I don't like how he's moving. Even though I thought he is what I thought he was, I, that doesn't mean that, you know, I let that go. Surprisingly to me, and I don't know, maybe y'all can all just go off on me because I didn't say I like Victor. I also, let me just go ahead and put the nail in the coffin so y'all can just have a whole field day. I like Marco too. I really do. I, do. I like Marco. I did not think I was going to like Marco at first. Um... But I do like Marco, and I really like Hannah, and I like them together. It it seems fun. It really does. And I'm okay with the whole Destiny thing, and I'm hoping that that can kind of move past because sometimes people aren't your person, and I'm not saying that they're going to run off him and Hannah are going to run off into the sunset. But even just in this space, um, Marco is obviously not her person, and that's okay. That is okay because she's going to find her person, and if not, she's still going to have a good time. So I'm excited to just see, um, you know, just kind of where everybody lands. I am hoping Bergie does not get his heart hurt. Um, and I hope, I hope Carmen's intentions are pure. He has put himself on the line. But a lot of times y'all know in this love island world, when you put yourself on the line, now again, that is your choice. You have the right to do so, to not do so, or to do so. And when you put yourself out there, you are putting yourself at risk for, um, for being hurt. But I, I hope that Karma's intentions are pure. I don't, I want somebody to say Victor, but I know he's going home. I, I feel it and I'm prepared, but um, we're going to see where it goes. I, it's a lot of tension, but I do, like I said, I really respect the honesty of all the Islanders when they were voting and kind of the deadlock. We didn't just go because of what somebody says, because honestly, when Keenan was like, when, when um, Bergie was like, well, I want to give this a chance. I'm just, I'm going to put it all out there and see where it goes. I love that Kenan, because I, I thought that they were going to be like, okay, well, we're going to do this for Berkey and just kind of stop the deadlock. And it was like, no, oh, okay, well, you feel this way. Let's see if anybody else feels this way. And I like that it was paused before, because sometimes you see it where somebody put themselves out there and everybody's like, oh, okay, we'll all do this. So I like that. Um, it's like, okay, let's still try to really consider this. I like kind of, Marco kind of said it. Like, no, I don't think everybody's the most trusting with Carmen. And um, I like that they have the kahunas to say it. It doesn't mean it's right, but... I just, I, I love, it's, it's a fresh dose of not just going with the flow just because sometimes you need to go against the current. It's okay to go against the current. It really, really is okay. We're going to see how that goes. We're going to say, I wish it was Cassie because she's a bird and Leo's for the streets. Now, in saying that she's a bird because I don't like when people, you know, you be a bird, you chirp with your chest and that's okay. You chirp with your chest. But she don't chirp with her chest. She becomes the victim. Now, I'm not for it. But we're going to see how all this plays out. We're going to meet back up here tonight, tomorrow at the latest, okay? I promise. I'm back. <laughs> but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let me know who you're liking. What's the situation that you like? My tops right now, obviously, as far as relationship, I don't think anybody tops KK and Keenan right now. I think I really like them. Um, individually, I like Destiny. Harrison, I, I don't know about Destiny and Harrison. Then next, I got an like, unpopular opinion, I think. Uh, I really like Hannah and Marco. They, I, I like I like the vibe. I like the vibe. We shall see. We're going to see where it goes, y'all. Y'all let me know in the comments. Peace. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I'm going to talk to y'all later, okay? We're going to talk.